Morning. I am at Islamabad Airport and it's 8 a.m. I'm a little anxious because I'm not sure if the flight to Skadu is still going, but I'm also a bit excited because if it is going, it'll be bloody amazing. Let's go. It's happening! Skardu is located in the north of Pakistan in the Gilgit Baltistan province. This place is absolutely amazing, covered in these majestic, massive mountains. I'm really excited to show you a few things that I did here, so let's get exploring. There is a daily flight from Islamabad to Skardu, but they do get cancelled if the weather is not good, which is quite common. So I would definitely recommend you factor that in. It only takes one hour from Islamabad to get to Skardu. The flight is really, really scenic. It's actually the most scenic flight of my life with these gorgeous, majestic mountains covered in snow and clouds. And you can see Rakaposhi and Nanga Parbat, two of the most beautiful mountains in the entire world during this flight. Welcome to Skardu! That was the best plane ride of my entire life. No exaggeration. Just look at this place. And I'm just at the airport. First impressions of Skardu. Wow. Just wow. I'm in the center of the city and this is called Yadgar Chowk or the Yadgar Square. There are a lot of things to do in Skardu and most of them are actually not located within the city so you will need a car to get around here and everything is built on a massive scale. I mean if you just look at these beautiful mountains around it looks like the city is a collection of doll houses. I'm standing at the library. This is sort of the best place to see quite a lot in Skardu. Like right behind me is the old part of the city. And you can see the, you know, the old construction, etc. And if you come down here, this is the polo ground. During the season, you will, you can come here and you can see the polo matches. There's a couple of cows and a goat there, but I think I'll take that because I'm not here on time. And then moving on, if you get to this side, This is the Harpocho Fort, which is the fort that comes with Skardu. So pretty much every city had a fort here and this belongs to Skardu. So it's strategically placed so you could see the entire valley from up there. And you can see the entire valley from down here as well. You honestly, just look at these mountains. Oh, it's such an amazing spot. And then if you come down a bit further on this side, is the old market or the old bazaar which is sort of the central road that goes through Skardu. So I'll show you a bit more. Let's go. These cute little dumplings are called mamtu and they make the perfect dinner in Skardu. It is a gorgeous day to explore Skardu. Let's see what we can see today. I am in Shangri-La. You can see right behind me 
It is quite a nice place. It's all surrounded by these mighty mountains in Karakoram. Um, actually, I heard a lot about this place. Sadly, it is a bit disappointing because what used to be a nice secluded place has been like sort of overbuilt with time. Um, the lake was also man-made, but you can see it's nice, but I mean, it's, it's pretty average. The food was also pretty average and it was quite expensive as well. So let's get to the next point and see how that works out. Driving in these surroundings is an absolute pleasure just on its own. I had heard so much about other lakes in Pakistan but no one ever said anything and this turned out to be my absolute favorite lake in all of Pakistan. I am sitting at Upper Kachora Lake. It's about 10 minutes drive from the Lower Kachora and the Shangri-La and this one's not a man-made lake. It is just so calm, so serene, and it looks like a beautiful little opal in the middle of these rugged mountains. I have never been to a cold desert before, so I'm quite excited about our next destination in Skardu. So we're heading to Katpana Desert, and we've hit a bit of a roadblock. This guy won't let us pass, so we're waiting for someone to come <laughs> take him away so we can go up. It's really cute though. And now it's her turn. Look. She's very feisty. Look. Ooh. This is Katpana. It's a cool desert and it's like really close to the city. Only took us about 10-15 minutes to get here literally nothing here except for like a couple of houses it's not that big a desert but it's quite an interesting place because you can see the flights coming and going from the Skardu airport here So I visited Skardu towards the end of March which was very good because I didn't get the tourist crowds and I also got amazing weather and I actually got to spend two days which in hindsight was quite short. We're heading to Sitpara Lake but we saw the Buddha rock on the way and I got a bit curious so we're heading there to see the rock and then we're gonna go to the Sitpara Lake so let's go. So this is Buddha Rock, the 9th century relief dedicated to Buddha. What a spectacular place and I'm, I'm honestly amazed this has survived for so long. I cannot think of a better place in the entire world than this for meditation. I definitely recommend that you work with a local company if you're coming here because the terrain can be quite rough. I work with this company and if you want their details you can find it in the description below. I am at Sadbara Lake. Well this used to be an amazing lake back in the day. There was a huge flood here in 2015 and then 2017 which pretty much destroyed the whole place. Uh, this is sort of like a shadow of what it used to be. I've seen like some photos and some videos, um, the older ones, and this is nothing like that anymore. Although, I mean, the landscape is still pretty impressive. 
this was my last destination in Skardu. That is all from Skardu, I'm afraid, but I really hope you enjoyed this little trip with me. I am heading to Hoplu and then to Shigar, so I would definitely recommend you check my videos for those two places. Because you definitely don't want to miss these two exciting towns when you come to Skardu. So check the links above and I will see you there. If you haven't already, do subscribe, like and comment. I always love some feedback. This is how you do it.